The Honourable Annette King. Thank, thank you, Mr Chairman. I must agree with the Minister. The public do care about health. They do care about their health, their family's health and the health system. But, Minister, I don't know where you've been because there are a lot of New Zealanders that are very worried about their health and very worried about their access to health services and very worried about the health system. And part of the problem is that a minister must actually be accurate with the information that he provides. And I have listened day after day as the minister tells New Zealanders that under his government they've done 50,000 more elective surgeries. He then quotes the 2007-8 figure as the base point. Who had the budget of 2008-9? It was the Labour government, it wasn't the national government. In fact, there were 12,000 additional procedures done in that year that he counts as the National Party. So I'm just pointing out that honesty and truthfulness in figures is very important. That is one of the ones that is not being presented in the correct way. Uh, get, get, saying that one government did something when they did not is not being straight with the public. The second issue I want to raise is the Minister constantly says that the former Minister of Health said about 25 per cent were being sent back to the doctor. Pete Hodson never said any such thing. I have asked the Minister to provide, in fact I did an OIA, several of them, asked him to provide the evidence. There was no evidence that Pete Hodson said that, and I could read out the exact quote, being interpreted by this Minister for political purposes. And so I have to say to the Minister that if the Minister is going to bring up these issues, at least tell the story as it is. Let's take the issue of cancer treatment in New Zealand. No longer are we sending 700 patients to, to Australia. Yes, well, I'll say to the Minister, when were they sent, Minister? They were sent between 2000 and 2002. Why, Minister? For the very report the Minister wouldn't release when he had it. It was a 1998-99 report into cancer services in New Zealand that I received as Minister of Health that said our cancer services in New Zealand were in a dire position, that we didn't have enough linear accelerators, we didn't have enough radiation therapists, and our health cancer services were likely to crumble. That was the truth, not the truth that the Minister will tell the people of New Zealand, but that was the truth. And to then say that they, what we need to do is more. Well, I've got the figures, Minister, on what's happened since 2011 to 2015, on what's happened to those old people who are waiting for their hips and knee operations around New Zealand. In that time, eight DHBs did 2,181 fewer operations, not more operations. So then let's look at the evidence. The evidence that came out of Otago University. It said there is explicit rationing of, a, of a joint um, operations in Otago, and it is worsening. It is worsening. Went on to, to say that we have noticed, and this is their research, an increase in the severity of the disease those patients who qualify for surgery are receiving. That is the evidence, Minister, not the nice rosy picture the Minister would like to paint to New Zealanders, but what the public are actually seeing and what our, what our professionals and our researchers are finding. I have to say that I, I am very disappointed um, in the Minister's approach uh, to the health budget, because unless this Minister is able to show New Zealanders that he has sufficient in his budget in this 2016-17 budget, he will be a failure. And he will continue to have the GPs, the, the New Zealand Doctor magazine, writing issues like this about him. This comes from doctors. Who is Dr Coleman? What does he look like? Try Labour, they say in the Doctor New magazine. That is because he has been missing in action when it comes to supporting New Zealanders in terms of the health budget. I will be looking to see how much money goes into Pharmac, because Pharmac say there are 20 drugs that need to, to be funded before a drug like Keytruda. So they're going to need to have a sizeable increase in that budget. They're going to need to have a sizeable increase to do more elective surgery. 
I'd like to see more money going into public health because what we've had is a lot of fancy words about obesity, Mr Chairman. Oh, no, Mr Act Chairman, I'll, I'll sit down and let uh, the Associate Minister have a go. The Honourable 